the objective of this video is to make inferences uh, about a time series graph. Now, this is a graph, or uh, a time series graph of the amount paid for electricity. Now, this is over four year period. So, on the on the horizontal axis, on the x-axis, you have taken the time, which is in months. On the y-axis, you have taken the amount that you have paid or family has paid. So, before we read, before we try to make some inferences, let's understand, or let's divide this into four separate years so that uh, we can talk about what this graph is going, uh, is telling us. So, Jan stands for January. So, January, March, so it's alternative month. So, let me draw a line, a dotted line here. So, this is the first year. Okay. Uh, this is the second year. This is the third year, November, and this is December, comes halfway. Okay, so I want you to look at, so this is, say, what I'm saying is, this is January of a year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And again, you start January year. So when you're reading, when you want to make some interpretation about uh, time series. The first thing that you're looking is your peaks. So let's talk about peaks. And the next thing that you talk about is the troughs. Okay. T R O U G H. Troughs. I hope my spelling is right. Trough is the bottom or the minimum, and peak is the maximum. So let's look at the peaks. So which are the peaks here? So here you got a peak here. In this year, you got a peak here. In this year, you got a peak here. This is a peak here. And this is a peak here. So what's happening? In which month is the peak? So this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So this is September. So and year, this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So it's August here. OK, so let's count here. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. OK. Okay, so there's a trend, yeah? I want you to think about what these months, why you have a peak in these months. This is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Okay, so you have your peaks in the months of Ju July, August, September. Okay, so what, uh, now this is of New Zealand. This is the amount spent in electricity in New Zealand, that's important. So if you are living in New Zealand, you know that these are your winter months. Okay, so in the winter months, June, sorry, July, August, September. September is uh, the start of spring, but it's also cold. So that's why people, uh, this family may have used maximum electricity in these months, July, August, September. So, okay. Now the troughs, so let's look at the troughs. Okay, so this is a trough here. Uh, this is a trough here. Uh, this is a trough here. And this is a trough here. Okay, so this is January, February, March here. So I we are looking for patterns. Okay, so that's basically what we are trying to do. So this is a trough here. Again, March here. Uh, this is... Okay, this is interesting, July, August, September, October, November. So this is uh, an outlier. This is out of common. So this is also, this is November. Okay. So yeah, you have got the minimum in, there's no, tr see, no seemingly trend in the troughs. Okay. So now the next thing that you are looking is, <coughs> Okay, so here, one inference that you can make is the maximum is in winter months. In, in winter, which is July, August. Okay, so you are, uh, this can be your paying, this is the amount that is paid in September. So, actually the payment, uh, you have used it in uh, August. This is used in July, and this is used in June. So this is the 
amount winter months you can say june july august so it does make sense this is the june july august so in new zealand you have your winter in june july august and once you use the electricity you're going to make the payment so you got the bill in september but you have used in august so that does make sense so in other words you can say your electricity consumption is going to peak in the winter months okay that's one thing that you can see and these are you can see your summer months okay so this is february this is december and uh, this is or this is october and this is also october so in other words from summer september can you see this is going down so now you've got uh winter sorry uh, autumn and spring coming so your uh the amount paid as electricity drops down okay so there is a trend here so in the summer months you are using less and in the winter months you're using more okay you can say you can say minimum in summer months in minimum in non winter months let's write that in in non winter months that is in summer autumn and spring non winter months okay the next thing that you are looking is is this is you can say this this is called the seasonal variation this is called in time series this is called the seasonal variation that means as summer approaches your electricity is going to be used less and as winter approaches you're going to use more okay so there's a that's a seasonal variation let's see whether there is a long term trend okay so let's look at the peaks the peaks uh, okay now before that this is an interesting thing this is called a spike okay this is called a let me use it this color this is called a spike now, i don't know what happened we don't have enough information uh, from this month the electricity jumped okay so maybe the company uh, started charging more or the family started using more we don't know okay so anything is possible so probably uh, there were more people in these months and that's why there is a spike here so here you can see one other inferences uh, this is one inference the second inference is this is second and this is a there is a spike there is a spike steep increase or decrease is called spike okay there's a spike in uh, fourth year in the fourth year of which month that is september okay because i'm not writing the whole reason due to uh, the family using more electricity uh, because your family uh, your their friends may have come in to stay with them for holidays or they company uh, increase the rate so whatever reason there is a spike here so on an average is oh, when you look at the long term trend is there a steady increase in the electricity consumption uh, it doesn't seem so because you if you look at suppose let me draw a line here let me draw a line here so if you look at if you look at suppose this is one line and this is most of the electricity you can say this family has electricity ranging between say between 50 and 150 okay so most of the electricity is uh, between 150 and 150 there is no major changes this uh, if you exclude this with this and this for the for this year it's uh, pretty steady there is no uh, long-term trend it is not increasing or decreasing it is remaining steady so here we can say the last inference that you can say long-term trend long-term variation long-term feature long-term there seems to be there seems to be Uh, to be no major 
changes. Uh, it is steady. Uh, you can say it means the amount spent as electricity, amount spent on electricity. Remains remains steady between 50 and steady. Let me write this properly. Steady remains steady between 50 and 150 dollars. Between 50 and 150 dollars. So this is a general analysis or inference of this time series.